Hey everybody! In this video, I'll demonstrate how to recover gold from scrap integrated circuits. But first, a word of caution. The process shown in this video is for recreational purposes only. Any attempt to repeat the process requires the use of all safety gear and equipment, such as heat proof shielding, goggles, a fume hood, and gloves. All right, let's begin. I'll perform this demonstration with ICs removed from memory sticks, but the process is practically the same with most other types of magnetic chips. Processing non-magnetic chips is quite a different process than the one shown here. I have more written about it on my website. Click here to check it out. The first and most crucial step of this process is the incineration. We've got to have a complete combustion of all organics for two main reasons. First, the environmental repercussions. Smoke, soot, and all sort of organic compounds may seriously hurt you and the environment. Not to mention, it stinks like hell. Second, carbon and unburnt plastic will most likely affect gold recovery rates. As you can see here, there's absolutely no smoke emitted from the chip's burnout. And also, there was no smell whatsoever. This proves the incineration is going perfectly as it's supposed to. Now that the chips are cold, it is time to crush the ashes. I just do it in a small glass jar and shake for a couple minutes. This material is so soft, there's really no need for a ball mill or any other machinery to pulverize it. It should look something like that when you're done. The next step is to use a strong magnet to remove all of the metallic leads and leave out the ash on the bottom. To ensure a uniform particle size, the ash is screened, leaving behind the silicone chips and uncrushed lumps of ash. Those will simply be returned to the jug and shaken again until nothing's left. At the end of this process, we end up with three products. The metallic leads, also referred to as pins, the silicone chips, and the ash. All three of them contain gold. The ashes and silicone chips are processed together using dilute aqua regia. From here on out, the process is very similar to that of ceramic CPUs, and you can watch it here on this link. I'll leave the pins out of this video and dedicate a whole separate tutorial just for those because they are best processed together with copper-based non-magnetic material. That's all for now. Hope you found this process useful and interesting. Please comment, share, and subscribe.